All right, so we hold the tape measure right up against the back of the mast, right at the bottom at the mast step. All right, we measure the mast step, and on this boat, it's 14 feet, 10 and a half inches. When the rig's all set up properly without any uh, extra forward ram on and everything, come back to the back of the boat, and you can see how far your band is either in front of the transom or behind the transom. Since this boat has a long forestay, we got to make sure we have a mark on the forestay for checking our rake right at the top of the boom band here. The next step after setting the mast step is to check your shroud position. The lower shroud should be just directly in line with the front of the mast. The upper shrouds can be further as far forward as, uh, you know, through this range here, they could be close or further forward. The advantage of having them further forward is when your rig goes forward, the shrouds loosen more. Like in this case, with this much spread, you hardly even need to have shroud levers. Okay, the next step before we even uh, start getting our shrouds even is to make sure our back stays are tensioned evenly. Uh, I'll pull back on them a little bit to make sure that the head stay is seated in, and then we'll set them both at five units on the loose gauge. It takes a little bit of back and forth to make sure you got five on both of them. And once we got that set evenly, we can go check our rake. One thing I want to point out is we're taking all these measurements with no mast ram on. If you have some ram on, that's going to screw everything up. So keep your ram loose. If you need a little bit to keep the mast pop forward, generally you should, if you have enough shroud tension, you should be able to put the ram on, pop the mast, and then let it back off and it should stay there. If you're really loose on the rig, then it may reverse and you may need to pull just a touch on your ram to hold it in place. All right, we're checking the rig. We've already put our mark on this boat with the long force day. We've put a mark right at the top of the uh, mast band, as we showed you earlier. And we'll go up that mark and check that in inches. For this boat, 37 inches is the proper number. Metric, that would be 94 centimeters. If you have a boat with a short, uh, shorter head stay with a pin here, uh, again, same procedure, measuring to the center of the pin. It's going to be somewhere around 16, depending on your boat, 16 and 3 quarters, 17 inches, somewhere in that range. Now, we're going to go back and we're going to readjust it to get in the right place. We're going to then have to go back to our back stays, make sure they're still on five units. So again, we've got a little bit of back and forth until we got that right. Then we go to the shroud. You've got to be checking your rig without any wind, because the wind can blow from side to side, or have the wind coming right down the bow or up the stern, and make sure both back stays, upper back stays are tensioned evenly. So we go to the shrouds, put our loose gauge on here. A good base is around 23 units on here. Right now on this boat we are set at just under 23. Generally about one turn on the Staymaster accounts for about one unit on the loose gauge. So if you're at 22, usually one turn tighter will put you at 23. So we, we're at base right here right now on this boat at 23. So we check, make sure our mass is right in the center of the partner, which in the case of this boat, it's in the center. You want a little bit of play, just like this boat has. As you know, when you're sailing upwind, your lure shroud is super loose. Part of that is the rig's laying over to the side, so if you were tight at the deck, you'd be bending your mass coming out of the deck. So you need about this much uh, slop from side to side. All right, next step would be our lower shrouds. A good way to get your uh, lower shrouds correct is to start with them as tight as you can make them with your fingers. So in this case we've got it tight on both sides, they're even, and then you can back it off between say six and uh, eight faces to get to the right uh, setting for uh, upwind sailing. So on, we have a little mark on here so I can count how many faces I'm letting off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do the same on the other side, and then we'll go to the next measuring procedure. All right, the next way we're going to measure our lower shrouds is by measuring the distance across. So we measure up 36 inches from the top of the band. We make a little mark on the front of the mast, and then we measure across. Try not to damage the boat. Unfortunately, this is a little bit of a judgment call. How tight do you pull this? Some guys have a shock cord set up that holds it steady, which is not a bad idea. But I can measure across here, and right now I have 28 inches between the shrouds. 
and that's a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, starting setting to have. Another thing we can do at this point is right now my shrouds are 28 inches from side to side and I can look at the center line of the mass which should be if they're even at about 14 inches which is exactly where it is right now. Another thing you can do is just kind of take a little swing of your lower shrouds and this assuming your mass is centered the shroud should feel you know even one's not tight and the other one's not loose. Now remember both backstays have to be set evenly at, at this point. All right one more thing we can check is our intermediates when we've got this all set up if you have the right amount of intermediate adjustment the correct amount of shroud tension at base so let's say we're at 74 millimeters on our intermediates and we're at 23 units on our shrouds you're gonna see the intermediates a little bit loose they're gonna be bouncing in the wind if the shrouds are tighter like if we go to 24 25 the intermediates will get tight when the boat's sitting on the trailer and vice versa, if we were to loosen the shrouds, the intermediates will look real loose. So this will give you a little bit of a, uh, a double check to see if you're in the neighborhood. Now I want to show you how the shrouds get loose when we go downwind. It's important that the shrouds are loose so the spreader stays out of the back of your main. So when we lay the rig forward, there's a number of ways to make our shrouds get loose. One is to have your step slide back. And this boat is set up so it slides back about two inches. That brings the mass back in, in comparison to the location of your shrouds, loosening up the shrouds. Another method is to have your shrouds just connected further forward on the boat. A third way is to have levers, which would let off your shrouds, obviously, or to have a ramp like a lot of the foleys have. When you let that forward, it loosens the shrouds. This is what you want to see. You want to see quite a bit of looseness. When you're sailing, you want to make sure that the spreader is hitting the stop and not cutting into the back of your mainsail.